Take a hook, take a bar, take a book, take a chance, take a foot, take a heartbeat and run very fast. I'm with the SK, I run from my past and show you how I aim in a different class. When I'm roaming around from I don't need passes. Good sight, so I don't need glasses. Hello, bless the world, you can't mask it. I'll get praise when I'm laying in a casket. Cause I never put all my eggs in one basket. It's getting chilly like you let the draft in. Who's giggling? Who's laughing? Bad when I passing. You got your chains up tarfing. The game needs me, just like a time limit. I ain't whining, who's asking? Started training martial arts when I was six, doing kickboxing and other stuff, and then dabbled into judo and jiu-jitsu, and then a friend, actually a coach at the time, introduced me to John. I started training with John about seven or eight years ago. I'm um, a pro MMA fighter, and I have a record of 10 and five. When I started, there was about four or five of us fighting professionally, and there's probably about 10 to 15 now, and there's like UFC guys and everything, you know, we've had a couple of world champions out of the gym, um, we have pretty much every national title, I think, that's worth anything. Uh, and we, as you saw today with the class I was teaching downstairs, the amateur scene is looking huge, it's really coming on. Like, so, big things happening. Um, and it's just, it's just a lot more, the whole scene is a lot more professional. The shows, like Cage Contender and all. Um, Cause like, this, this is actually a good one. Uh, I, I fought on a show, well, I was supposed to fight on a show a few years ago. And when I rocked up to the show, the ceiling was too low. And like I'd made weight, everything, and when I walked in, I couldn't actually fight because the ceiling was too low. Because they hadn't thought that the cage would be four foot off the ground, so <laughs> I arrived to fight and the ceiling was too low and the fight was cancelled. Didn't get paid, didn't get anything. Made weight, did all I had to do. Irish people, like, uh, we like a scrap. Like, we, we like, we're a nation, of, we're, like, boxing's big here, all martial arts have been big in Ireland. Like, we have a, a few Muay Thai world champions and kickboxing world champions, so always th it just had to click, I think. Maybe the UFC did that, maybe, like, you know, there was an opening of a few gyms that made people realise how big the sport was, I don't know really, but it, it, was, it was probably a little bit before that it started to really grow. I know martial arts for me in life was really good, it kind of taught me a lot of lessons and, um, you know, it, we don't really have the sensei vibe or anything here where you're told what to do, but you kind of, uh, like we're always taught to lead by example, so, you know, uh, like I try to put on, I try to be a decent guy for the lads to look up to and then I'm sure they're all going to go a lot further than me. Uh, oh yeah, I'm hoping that a few more of us are kind of get into the UFC and uh, myself and Carl Pendrin and there's a few other guys then like coming through that would want the same thing and then uh, I just kind of wanted to grow and maybe like we could do with uh, cutting out a few, a few of the gyms like maybe there's a, a few too many gyms at the moment like it just they seem to just spring up from everywhere like and and then there's probably a few too many shows too that seem to just spring up from everywhere so I think like we could cut up I, I'd love to have like an Irish team I, I think like uh, or even a Dublin team or something like where where we go fight in other countries like because there's enough good guys to do that I think. I've always found MMA a weird one. Um, it's not it's not like a lot of other sports. Like uh, a lot of other sports seems to be underprivileged. People tend to do well. And like I think like a large chunk of the team that train here have college educations. Like, you know uh, we could be doing pretty much anything, but we kind of I, I quit a bank job to do this. Like you know we could be we chose to do this. Like, we chose to do this sport. Like and um, but. On the same side, I think like it, it's good for people from those areas, like young guys, to have a sport like this. It keeps them in check. Like. Like if you don't know Connor, you gotta watch that space because the guy he hits like a truck. Like when I spar him, he hits like a guy in my way. I'm a middleweight. Connor fights a feather, and he hits as hard as any middleweight that hit me. Um, and he's just got such a like a such a diverse skill set that people don't know about. He can do pretty much everything. Um, 
I think he's just going to do big things in the UFC. Plus his personality and all, they'll love that. I just think like uh, it's exciting times for everyone, you know. I think Connor getting in and a few more of us getting in, it, it'll just kind of spur everyone on to put that extra effort in. You saw it in England once Bisbee got in, it, it just kind of went crazy after that. Like you know, there was guys getting in all over the place because people see that there's actually light at the end of the tunnel. Like you can actually do this coming from a place like this, you know. You kind of always feel like, ah, oh, really? Is it just the Americans that get in, the Brazilians and stuff? And then. Like I think the, the English guys getting in kind of did that for us, make us believe that it's possible. Like, and then I think if a few of us get in, you'll see, like there's 15 year olds that do my amateur class and they're beasts. So the future is very bright, very, very bright.